What's up, everybody? It's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Starbound. When we left off in the last episode, we had gone exploring, looking for the apex areas, and ended up running across, across Glitch instead. And not in-game Glitch, but the actual, you know, like, Glitch race. Anyways. Uh, but the byproduct that yielded was some uh, a decent amount of Durasteel, actually, without even really having to mine. Um, so my first gut is to upgrade the forge, which will then let us make better armor and weapons. However, we have a bit of a snag, uh, and it's this guy. So we have the Durasteel now to make it, but we don't have the batteries. I need 10 silicon boards and 10 copper or 20 copper wire. Um, the problem here is I've gone through all of my machines twice and can't find uh, this stuff. Now I do have a couple circuit boards, but I don't have any copper wire and I don't have a battery. So my only plan is to basically go to the outpost and see if anybody sells any of it, or at least has some kind of table or machinery doodad that lets me build it. Um, so there's that. Go away. Uh, so they don't... I really feel like I've seen it somewhere. Like that at some point it was sold. No, that's a tech console. That's not what I'm looking for. I think it was this guy. Uh, no, he's got... F oh, we've got into the Aegisalt and Ferrosium and Violium and all that stuff, though. That's cool. Now, I can sell things to him. None of this is worth anything to him, I guess. Other than the ore. Uh, I do have a few things, though, that I could sell. Like this stuff. Oh wait, those aren't worth anything to him. Well, phooey. Okay, that I don't need, that I don't need. That's not worth anything. Those are, I never use them. I'm gonna sell the drill because I really haven't been using it much at all. Okay, so it adds a little bit, but I still need to find place where I can get this stuff. Uh, nope, none of that. Still don't know what this is for. Elegantly Automatic Sign Engineering lith Lithographer. Left click, left click to draw, right click to erase. Cycle through the possible frame colors. Shift current animation frame. I don't get what all that is. I mean, it's cool. I'm sure it's interesting to use, but I haven't been able to figure out what it does. Okay, don't see any of that there. Nope. Well, I really don't know where to get this stuff, then. Uh, no, don't want to talk to him yet. Lawless, godless, flightless. That's me. <laughs> That's funny. The balloon. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure where to get this stuff. I really thought I saw someone selling it at some point. Um. But now I can't think of either where they are or if they actually did. He only sells the illegitimate stuff. He does repairs. He has auto chips. I'm trying to think, was it the guy over by the Ark, maybe? Was it you? No? Huh. Okay, and then there's the teleporter for the Ark. I swear, I really thought somebody sold this, but I don't know if it was maybe... Those who follow in the footsteps of Clux are just better than other people. <laughs> oh, it gave me a glowing buff. That's cool. Uh, that's a mission. I think this guy's a vendor, isn't he? Oops. Nope. 
Okay. Um, let me look this up real quick, because i got to figure out where to find this stuff, or at least... Um, I'm, I'm wondering if I have to... Uh, upgrade something else that doesn't require the battery and silicon and stuff in order to then make it, if that makes sense. But everything seems to require it, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a of a bind here. So let me look this up a second. Okay, so I'm back. This actually really should have been obvious. Um, <laughs> and I was trying to be cheap, basically. That's, that's really all this comes down to. I was trying to be cheap. Everything requires silicon boards, copper wire, and battery. Everything, right? Every upgradable device available to me requires this. So, just the pro the progression of game, game theory, whatever, it should have indicated where you need to go, which is the one thing that doesn't require that, which is the furnace. The furnace turns into a, an atomic furnace, which then lets you build what you need. I really should have seen that coming. Um, Alright, so we need volatile power, which is core fragments powder, sorry, and glass. We have plenty of sand for that. So let me grab, I have one of these already. We'll grab the rest of these cores. And let's see what we can do. I don't think I'll have enough Durasteel to upgrade past this point, um, but I should have enough to at least do this. I should have enough of the stuff that I need for this particular Upgrade, it'll just probably use all of the dirt steel that I have, basically. No, I don't want to make 201. Okay. Come on. So yeah, it was kind of one of those, that was a dummy thing on my part, was, like, not... <laughs> not thinking of, hey, let's do the one thing that doesn't need all the stuff that you can't find. Hmm. Maybe... What is that? Light and glow. I drank an alien juice. I had I had alien fruit, so I'm just all kinds of glowy. Okay, so we have refined aegis salt, ferrosium, violium, solarium. I think that's the top end one that I think that's the hardest one to find. Which now we can make silicon, sand and coal, not hard at all. Um, copper wire, five for one bar, and a battery, we need four copper. Okay, so that's not bad at all. That's not bad. So, here's the bigger question, though. Do I have any Durasteel left? I have ten. So I can't upgrade the anvil. Oh, I just realized, by the way, this means light gravity. Because when I fell, I just kind of floated down for a second. Whoa! Huh? That was different. All right, so I should have enough to make this. I need five silicon boards, 10 copper wire, and one battery. And that only requires six. This requires six, but I don't know if it's worth doing. I'm gonna do the other one first because I don't think that, ah. I don't think that's really worth it. So this one, this one, think this one none of these need to be upgraded it's this it's the inspector the inventor's table the anvil the apothecary the sewing machine is finished and the foraging table could also be upgraded but I don't really know what I'm gonna get for that so I'm probably gonna do the inventors one first so I need one three more silicon boards and two sets of copper wire. Okay. So let's do three of these. Okay. And we're going to make one of these because I need to make a battery. This battery can be used to power high-tech stations, weapons, and wearables. Interesting. Okay. So that should give me what I need. Bingo! All right, now we're now we're cranking. Now we're at the architect's table. 
So what did we unlock? Pet station used to produce capture pods, healing stations, and other pet related items. Ooh, well that's cool. Pixel compressor, compresses pixels for storage. Now this was in the like early access versions of the game and I actually heard a lot of people say that it wasn't really that great because if you compressed it then when you tried to open it back up again um, it would basically lose some of the pixels. So this is uh, kind of a hit or miss. Depends on your playstyle, I guess. This machine can reorganize pixels into almost any shape. That's interesting. Rail crafting table used to produce rails, rail riding items, and related objects. Wiring station used to produce complex wiring components. The refinery I still haven't made. Okay. All of these look the same. Okay, so it's pretty much the rail station for, um, what is the, this is like the, the sky rail and things. That's kind of neat, but we don't really have a use for it at the moment. So at the moment, the only thing the inventor's table really did was give us the pet station, which would be kind of fun to mess with. And this lets us refine stuff, but more importantly, it lets us make other things so that we can upgrade our other material devices. So I'll need another battery, 10 silicon boards, and 20 copper wire. Let's see if I can pull that off real quick. Um, so I need another battery. And 10 boards, is that what it said? So coal and sand, that's really not that hard to do for the silicon boards and the copper wire, also not really that big of a deal. The batteries are probably the only big like resource hog, but they're not that bad either. Okay, so we have everything we need for that. I just need more Durasteel. So that's probably going to be the quest for today, though I might pause it and just do some mining and see where that gets me. Okay, so I went on an adventure, it was very boring, very dull, but I managed to come back with enough ore to make 16 Durasteel bars. So that should give us enough to upgrade our anvil or our forge. Learn to craft manipulator add-on, separator add-on, and accelerator add-on. Okay, so we have an outsider's or outrider's chess piece, which is another looks like quarter in defense and attack and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty cool it doesn't look like i have what i need to make it though silk leather durasteel durasteel and leather durasteel and lever le <laughs> lever leather all right so weapons what are we looking at short sword is 11.7 per swing and it's 1.6 swing speed. So weapons seem to be kind of behind the eight ball um, in terms of like the kind of damage that you deal and stuff like that. It just doesn't really seem to be keeping up with the stuff that you find. Like this is a one-handed, which is slightly slower, but hits harder than the two-handed broadsword that you would want to make the Durasteel, or with the Durasteel. So I'm a little not really sure how that works. Ah, cooling ep upgrade and a heating ep. This upgrade adds cool air generation to your eps capable of dangerously hot planets, and this one is for dangerously cold. Durasteel, battery, scorched core. I have one of those. Now this one needs the heating up. Now that's interesting. This upgrade adds heat generation to your EPS capabilities useful on cold planets. Adds cool generation to your EPS capabilities helpful on dangerously hot. So I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume since it needs the previous one that this would effectively end up adding cold and hot along with radiation and all that stuff because it it seems it, it seems to be like a linear you know like you have this one then you need the first one to make this one then you need that one to make this one you know so i'm assuming that 
by the time you get to the cooling one, you'd be able to just be protected. Now, the interesting part is all those add-on blueprints. I don't know what those are. I've never heard of those. Ooh, accelerator out on here we go. A module that adds additional ranged equipment and armor to the replicator. Interesting. A module that adds additional high-tech combat equipment and armor to the replicator. And a module that adds additional melee equipment. So I guess this is their way of essentially... So basically what they're doing is rather than having you upgrade this again, because you'll notice the upgrade thing is gone, you craft the add-ons within the architect's table, and the add-ons are then equipped to this, and that's how you get your, your new stuff. So that's an interesting way to do it. I wasn't expecting that, but that makes sense. Okay, so what else do we have left? We have the apothecary that I, I don't have enough to to upgrade that and the forage forging table needs to be upgraded beyond that it's going to turn into upgrading our um, equipment the problem I'm running into is the number of durasteel um, the durasteel itself is like hard to find it's kind of expensive and what do I need for this? I have... I can probably make the battery. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, I'm actually going to need a couple of them anyway. Let's see. Let's, let's go around and take an inventory here. Because I don't think I have enough time really to get into um, another big adventure on the episode kind of thing. So let's try and take care of our crafting stuff. And then maybe in between now and the next episode I'll be able to acquire more durasteel or the other option is we could buy it but i don't think it'll really balance out all that much um all right so these this top tier is all upgraded we can't upgrade these because we don't have the required ore so i need one battery for this one this doesn't need it this doesn't need it one battery for this one and was there any other tables? I think that's it. I think that's I think we're fully maxed at this point. Yeah. So I need two batteries basically. So we're going to make that, make a battery. Make that, make a battery. All right, so our batteries are taken care of. And then I need five copper wire, three silicon boards for this one. And five copper wire, three silicon boards. So I need six boards and two more sets of wire. There's that. Okay, so effectively, other than the Durasteel, we have what we need to make our upgrade. And as for this guy, we need Durasteel. Oh, I need to make another battery. One more. Uh, and then I need to make sure I have 10 wire. This requires four. Okay, so I have 10. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Okay. So I have the extra battery. I have a scorched core in here somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, there you are. Actually, I have five of them. Well, four now. And we have the leather that we'll need for making our equipment. So it really just comes down to... I need to make one silk. What do I need for this? Silk fiber. Yeah, we got plenty of that. I think it's at four. Yeah. Okay, so we have our silk. We have our leather. We have all of this crap. And if I can get the EP going, the heating one, then essentially I'd be able to go to the cold planet in this system, or the cold planets, and look around a little bit more for the 
Apex stuff and progress the quest a little bit more. The other thing that I'm looking at is I think the wiring station improves some of the... Um, also gives us some other things that we can work with to build. Now that also mentioned RAM. I don't recall... It's because it's not in here, so I don't know how to make RAM. That's a new thingamabobber. So that one might put us at a little bit of a disadvantage because I only have one of those, I think, and I don't know where I got them from. Yeah, I have one stick of RAM, so I don't know that I'll be able to make the wiring station anytime soon. I really, 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 really need to get an upgrade going for um, <laughs> for my ship. I just need um, another module, and I can't. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. It's been really kind of aggravating. Um, let's see. This one we could do, it unlocks the wiring expansion, enables wire mode for wiring together functional objects. Oh, increase the effective manipulator range by four tiles. I didn't know I had what I needed for that one. Destruction rate by 200, increase to a four by four tile. I'm thinking I should probably hold out for the destruction rate because I actually have been doing pretty decent with the um, with the other stuff. Tell you what, let's go back to the outpost real quick. I want to check um, that one guy's shop and see what Durasteel costs because I need two to make the ep and the ep will let us move on a little bit into more advanced planets like the cold ones. So what is he running Durasteel for? A thousand per bar. I have two thousand. So I could actually buy this, and I may do that, in fact, because one way or another, it'll serve our purposes. I wonder if I should get into start selling some of our excess ore or not, because maybe I shouldn't, because there are still some things that use like gold and things we've run into. Core fragments. Ooh, they run a pretty penny pretty penny. Oh, screw it. Let's just buy the Durasteel. We're going to upgrade our Ep, I think. Because I think that'll help us get to where we need to go. Okay, so we should be able now to, yes, do that. Okay, did it auto-equip it? It did not. Where did you go? There you are. Alright, so we have a heating Ep now. That's good. Uh, we are going to need more Durasteel, though. That's just the long and the short of it. The other thing is, this is what I meant to show. Oh, they're here. They're, they're, they moved. Uh, give me just a second. I've been trying to get this to... Ah! Do that for a while. Um, I was trying to replace all the tilled ground, because it really didn't make sense to have my Fluffalos have, like, tilled ground. And, uh, I threw grass seed down and stuff, but it hasn't done anything. So, I don't know what that's about. But when they're white like that, or, or tan, I guess, they give off plant fiber. So that's 22 per however long it takes for them to do that, which is not a bad, a bad thing. Let's real quick move over. Radiation levels are extremely... Okay, so that has Durasteel. Where was the cold planet? This has everything under the sun other than Solarium. So we're going to go here. Now I know this is... <laughs> I know it's somewhat stupid of me to do. Uh, because... Effectively, I'm going to a place where now my environment says I can be there. But in reality, I probably shouldn't be there. Um, because, you know, there's that whole... Man, the thorn juice actually really does work. Okay, and then we're going to take three with me. Um, <laughs> because effectively, like, my weapons and things are not really that much better. So, I might be able to survive here now. And this is Apex, though, so that's cool. Do they attack me? I don't remember if they attacked me right off the bat or not. Oh, these guys did. 
Yeah, fire rocket for the win. Okay, so I'm not actually too worried about this then. That's not too bad. Ooh, what? Snow infantry. Oh, it's like Hoth. It's like the Hoth outfit. That's awesome. Frost crown. Also awesome. And let's scan this too. A shipping container. I want to get all of these cargo con- Because a shipping container, I mean... Jiminy Cricket. That would be awesome. Oh, wow. That came out of nowhere. Uh, don't get me wrong. I did see that guy. I just didn't think he would be able to shoot me from there. Okay. Um, and let's also get a ice plant sample. Because why not? Oh, it didn't give me a sapling. How dare you? Still no sapling? Seriously? Fine, I didn't want your ice trees that much any- Okay, yeah, I kind of do. Those, those look kind of awesome. I was gonna be like, I don't want your sapling anyway, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I kind of do. Alright, so let's scan... Are you- are you mad? Are you mad at me? No? He's just scared, okay. Yeah, I want to scan all the... What the... Hey! Back off! Ouch! Hey, you know what? I have a rocket launcher that I can redirect. How you like me now? Yeah, that's right. You can't even get to me. I can still get to you. I love this rocket launcher. This thing is awesome. Learn to craft ice blocks. Snowflake shuriken. Okay, that's... That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so we're not actually doing all that bad. I actually expected us to kind of... get wrecked real fast. But I like to scan all of the, um... Apex stuff, because they're pretty techy. So it's kind of cool. I'm hoping to get some Durasteel out of this place. Nope. Darn. I can barely feel my fingers in this cold climate. How can I take notes like this? I don't know. Let's turn your computer on first. Okay. Wait, are you following me, dude? Go, go back there. No! What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed. Boom! Oh, he flew through the... Okay, I missed that one. That was weird. He... What is this guy following me for? Go away. Oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. Yes! Violium, Aegisalt, and Ferrosium. Heck... Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Um, can I scan this up here? Antenna. Alright, what do you got for me? I need someone to help with monsters... With a monster of a problem. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. Fine. Whatever. I want to know why this guy is following me and why he won't leave me alone. There, finally. Egg shoot. I don't know what that is. Some kind of vegetable, I guess. Ooh, bed. All right, what do you got for me? My colleague's gone missing. Sure, why not? Okay. Diota seed. I think that's a. Ouch! I think that's a uh, glitch food. Ow, dang. They do kind of hit like a truck. That's cool. It's a literal ice block. That's funny. You don't look friendly. He's definitely not going to be friendly after I shoot him, so there's that, but... Alright, so I don't think we're going to have too much more time left on this episode. Woo! 
also think my uh, staff is probably going to be useless here because of all the ice iciness. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Ooh, what is that? Phase matter. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.